uh, the grant that you're seeking, would it uh, cover the entirety of the purchase price of the acreage you're, you're looking at? Yes. Um, and then uh, down the road, uh, as a you, you own the property, um, I assume there would be restrictions on um, it being sold or on the perpetuity of the conservancy um, aspects of the property? The state of Ohio will hold deed restrictions in accordance with us on the property. Um, and then are you at all uh, related to the Cincinnati nature? Um, what's yes, yeah, center there in, in, in uh, outside of uh, the table, yeah, I think it is. The Dickerson's over there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is cousins. That part of the nature? My dad's the upper middle of nine kids, and that's cousin Lenny out in the day. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about the Cincinnati Oh, oh, yeah, I yeah. thought you said the Dickerson's out there. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so Jeff Corny's on our board. Uh, he's their executive director, so we're strategic partners with the Nature Center. Okay, but they're and separate by OSC. We're, we're separate. They they do programming and education. We protect land. Okay. Um, and then my final question is, reading your bio, uh, I understand that you are a prescribed fire burn boss. What is that? <laughs> so there's a lot of habitat types around here that evolve with fire. So the biggest threat to oak forests in Ohio, and Ohio is famous for oak forests. Uh, after death and divorce, it's red maple. And it's because we've taken fire out of the system. So the biggest benefit to forests in Ohio is fire. We also had Native Americans introduce, well, they kept places open because it increased hunting, it increased uh, diversity, and increase their health. So they maintained open areas and with fire. And so when I was involved with the Nature Conservancy, I was curious about that. So I received every bit of training it took to become a nationally certified burn boss. So we light fires for good. Okay, thank you. Anyone else have any questions or comments? I have a comment. I think this is an amazing opportunity for the city and for the residents of the city. Um, yeah, let's go. Thank you. Mr. Peng? Um, just a question on the, obviously this is right next to the Claremont County um, Parkland. Is, is there, uh, what are your thoughts as far as like working with them and, and is there a, a use of the, the entire space that can be done or does it have to say it's two separate entities? So I'll, I'll say we're friends and partners with Claremont County Park District too. I've known Chris a long time and I'm, I'm getting familiar with Josh. Uh, we've spoken out there and, and actually have applied for a grant together from the Appalachian Fund to do some of the restoration of the buildings and parking and the visitor center. And right now things look really good for that, but we need to get the property. But yeah, we'll, we'll help them where they would have to pay a contractor to restore it will help them with that because they want to do a lot of the same things. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Uh, I believe this is a, a win-win for the city. It's better than having 100 or 200 homes up there, which was the last proposal. Um, the question I have is the uh, remodeling or construction re we have in, you know, the uh, existing buildings, is that going to be funded from the, the grant or the no, general fund? Not at all. Okay. That, that's a green space grant and they don't like buildings and typically as a land trust I don't like buildings either because we're in the forever business and buildings are not forever so we're trying to work out a way where we can exclude some of the houses from the grant and purchase those with other funds so we're not restricted or with, with how we restore or renovate them um, but buildings can be purchased with it and can be torn down, but it's a very tiny percentage of the money they can use for that. But you are funded uh, and able to, able to do the rehab? Uh, the funding that we're pursuing is to buy the land. No, I, I understand that, but uh, if you if the land goes through and you get the entire site, 109 acres, that includes those buildings, I'm asking, are you funded to be, be able to do those uh, remodel? No, we need to raise that funding. Okay. First, first things first. Right. Let's get the land first. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other 
anywhere else. Right, I, I appreciate you being here tonight. Um, I agree. I can't imagine a better, better, um, better opportunity and, and a better way to use this land. It's, it's the, the, the perfect um, solution, I think, to this. I don't know if many of us even dreamed that this is what we could get, um, but it's, it's certainly now that this is in front of us, really thankful that you're that you're here, and, and uh, we hope that this this all works out the way you have planned. Great. Thank you.